we realize that in pediatrics, we have a profound impact on the life of a child. I think families get to know us as family. We see them when they're born and watching them grow and develop. They don't like to see sick children, so we care for them in a very special way. To us, it's extraordinarily rewarding, and that's why we love what we do, and that's why we do what we do. Here at Georgetown, we really love children, and it shows throughout the department. We really take the time to get to know our patients, to get to know their families, and so to me that's really special and I really couldn't imagine myself working anywhere else. I do believe we make a very big difference to many, many families from all over this area and sometimes from areas much further away. A lot of our patients are transported in from other smaller hospitals and the transport in here can mean the difference between life and death. They were born in the NICU and uh, it's the most incredible place and we're so blessed to be able to have had our boys here to save their lives. I'm convinced of it and it was a scary time. They are one pound seven and one pound eleven ounces. It's a miracle. We're just very blessed and grateful to have these boys in the best NICU in the country. We have the capacity to take care of the sickest child. Anytime you do anything like small bowel or liver transplant, you can pretty much take care of anything. I think you come here and you get a little different feeling than you may get in other places. They get to know us personally. I think they feel a real attachment to us. They know they never get lost in a big system. And I think patients realize that we always try to make them feel like they're the only person we're dealing with. We are setting the bar for healthcare, and we're trying to find the best strategies to lead the way. We break new ground. We look for opportunities to expand care, to improve access to care, to improve health where things haven't been working in the past, and we try to find the best solution to that. <laughs> Our goal is to provide the standard of care that we have at Georgetown to neighborhoods that don't have that same access. And it's critically important to have a consistent place where you can have some continuity. And obviously they need vaccines, uh, checkups, and without us being here, I think it would be a challenge for these patients to get that same quality and continuity of care. The Anacostia Wellness Center is a school-based health center located in Ward 8. Teenagers having reliable health information and access to medical care is critical so that they can stay healthy and get to school every day, graduate, and meet their goals. We can also take care of children of students, so that's helping those kids to stay in school as well. We can really address all the needs of the student here. Physical exams, mental health services, acute visits, uh, we do in-house testing. So it's been tremendous for this community, and we really are, in a unique way, able to address the whole student. We start with the community programs, but it certainly doesn't end there. So if our kids are sick and they need a pulmonologist, or they need an endocrinologist, or a gastroenterologist, or a neurologist, any of the services, we have our specialists here, and we all work together to improve the coordination of care for the children and families that we serve. The Child Life Education Arts Program really focuses on the patients having a positive experience in the hospital. And we're so excited to be able to provide this kind of service to the patients and the families, and it's been very valuable to them. Helping kids understand why they're in the hospital, what treatment involves, and how they're going to be able to cope and get through it together as a family. We have artists including musicians and dancers and magicians that come and work with our kids all throughout the week. So it's a really neat component to our program. We also started a hospital school program so that the kids can keep up with all of their schoolwork and the chemistry students from Georgetown come over and do experiments with the kids. You know, every family is touched by a child specialist, the teacher, our volunteers, and I believe it makes a huge difference because 
it takes more than medicine to heal. They have superhero parties. They brought in a few of the nationals that cheer you up so you don't think about what's going on. Georgetown does not treat just the patient, they treat the entire family. And we have felt nothing but love from the entire Georgetown community since Ryan was diagnosed. When you're in the hospital, it's really hard. So when you have people who care, it's just really nice. Like with the art therapy, it really takes you away from the pain when you're in here. For my daughter, is home away from home. She loves being here whether she's sick or not. It's hard when she's in so much pain. So when they do stuff like this, it's, it's a happy feeling, yeah. When I think of the care that we've received, um, compassion is off the charts. And Dr. Shot is the best. She's an angel. She makes me want to cry. The, what she's done for Ryan, she absolutely saved his life. We were diagnosed two days before Christmas, when most doctors would have said, come back after the holidays, Ryan would have been dead. I can't thank her enough. We really do care, not just about what happens to them, but we care about them. And I think that permeates everything that we do every day. Because we love what we do, we love our patients, we love making children healthy. Mm -hmm.